Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you what is the difference between local timetable and global timetable. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Prajakya Party, and he asked when to use the local temporary table and global temporary tables need with examples. So what is the difference between the local temporary table and the global temporary table? So both the local temporary table and global temporary tables, they are created in the temp database on the SQL Server instance. So the local temporary table starts with a single hash while the global temporary table starts with the double hash. Local temporary table can be accessed only from the session in which it was created while global temporary table can be accessed from another sessions as well. Local temporary table will be deleted as soon as you close the session in which it was created and actually same is the thing for the global temporary table as well that it will be deleted as soon as you close the session in which it was created. So let's jump to the demo. I have SQL Server 2019 instance and whatever SQL queries I will be using I will share all the scripts with you so that you can test it in your environment as well. So to get the list of local temporary tables you can execute this particular query and this particular query can show you the global temporary tables and because you know that if we have a single hash then it means that it will be a local temporary tables where name like this one and name not like this one okay and if you want to check the global temporary table then the name should like the double hash okay so let me create a local temporary table first so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to create a local temporary table employee and then I'm inserting some data into the employee table okay and then I'm selecting the data from the employee table so let me execute this particular query so it has created a employee local temporary table if you want to select the data from the local temporary table employee then you can execute this query and it will return you the data here because this is a local temporary table so it will be accessible only from the, this session only if you will try to for example access this table from another session then you will get an error that invalid object name employee okay and now if you will try to find this table in the local temporary table then you can find the table here okay so using this query you can see that in the beginning there is the name of the table and after that there is a long underscore and there should be some number in the end okay so this is how sql server internally stored this value okay but we can see that this is the employee local temporary table now let me try to create the global temporary table so to create a global temporary table it will be created with two hashes in the beginning okay so let me just uh, create the global employee table here okay now let me try to select the data from the global temporary table so I was able to access the data here now let me copy this query and try to access this table from another session as well so this table should be accessible across all the sessions so you can see that I can access this particular table here and now if you want to see the list of global temporary table then you can execute this particular query so you can find that this is the global temporary table okay if you will close this particular session then the local temporary table will be deleted okay so right now you can see that this table exists but if you will close this particular session then the local temporary table will be deleted so let me close this session for now now if you will try to find the local temporary table then this table will be deleted okay so you can see that the table got deleted and similarly if I will close this session where the table was created then the global temporary table will be deleted as well okay so if you will try to select the data now so there is no global temporary table as well and if you will try to find the data from the employee then it is saying that invalid object name employee okay so now here it comes the question that where you should use the local temporary table and where you should use the global temporary table okay so suppose you want to store a bunch of data in a staging table then you can store it in a local temporary table and suppose you don't want to access that particular table outside of the session you just want to store it in a particular store procedure or in a particular list of queries so you can create a local temporary table but suppose if you want to create a temporary table but you want that the table should be accessible across some other store procedures as well for example when a particular process will start a loading process will start so you want to create a global temporary table so that the global temporary table can be accessed across all other sessions as well in other store procedures or functions as well then you can create the global temporary table but you would need to make sure that the session in which the global temporary table was created it should not be closed otherwise the global temporary table will be deleted as well so i think that's it for today's video 
थैंक यू गैस फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो एंड इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो दैन प्लीज क्लिक द लाइक बटन डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन एंड क्लिक ऑन ऑल्सो दैट यू विल बी नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम आई अपलोड इन यू वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच